Well, this past year has really highlighted the importance of our health care workers and next month there will be a virtual event to honor those who work in shock trauma units here in Maryland. Joining us now to talk more about the Beyond the Boundaries event is Karen Doyle from the R. Adams Cowley Shock Trauma Center. Good morning and thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning, Jen. It's great to be here. Tell us what this event is really all about. So Jen, this event is we hold it every year and it's all about honoring uh, the men and women um, in our emergency care system that take care of our um, most critically ill and injured patients every day. So it's all about honoring them and their work um, and their heroic efforts in um, caring for patients. In a normal year, it is difficult to be a healthcare worker and especially at shock trauma where you see the worst of the worst injuries. But in this past year, it's been particularly devastating. So what is this event going to mean to the men and women who work so hard every day? Well, first of all, this, this event is very different this year, right? Like, I mean, this year has been like no other year any of us have ever seen. And usually we get to celebrate in person. And this year will be a virtual event. And we will be honoring um, two patients, featuring two patients, one that is trauma injured, but one that is COVID recovered. So this, this event will represent a culmination of all the hard work um, that all of our um, uh, doctors, nurses, EMTs, all healthcare providers, um, this is about honoring them. And it's also a huge fundraiser. Talk about what that money goes toward. Yeah, we do use this as a fundraiser and the proceeds go to the Center for Critical Care and Trauma Education. And that uh, center, um, we host five, uh, 500 uh, uh, training events each year to um, keep our uh, doctors and nurses current in their skills for taking care of patients. That, that center is totally funded through philanthropic efforts which is pretty incredible. And so you want people to be able to tune into this. And when they do, it is so emotional. The, the, you, normally you hold a gala and, and clearly you can't do that this year. But the one thing that people walk away with is just how emotional that gala is every year when they hear the stories from the people who have survived such trauma. So the stories are very remarkable. Um, the patients are filled with gratitude. And for our physicians and nurses and all healthcare providers to see the recovery that these patients are able to achieve after such tragic events, it's so heart heartwarming and gratifying and it keeps them um, fueled for the next year. I was gonna say it really has to fill their spirit with a lot of, I guess, extra energy to get them through the next year. So how would you like people to attend and support this virtual celebration? Great to donate. Um, text the word HERO to 410-469-8656. And if you'd like to attend the event, please go to our website, theumsfoundation.org um, backslash STC celebration. We hope to see you there. How are you going to do this in just one hour? Is it from seven to eight? It's from seven to eight. Uh, there will be a pre-event um, from 6.30 to seven. Um, we'll have a, an event, uh, a conversation with Dr. Scalia and, and Tony Foreman, restaurateur. We'll have a post-dance party with DJ Kopak. Ah, oh, great. And so trying to accomplish this in 90 minutes is a challenge, <laughs> but we will do it and it will be fun. You guys are up to it. You guys can do anything at Shock it. Trauma. Thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it and take care. Jen, thanks for having me. You got it. Thank Anytime. You.